hi you guys welcome so much to my channel and to this class today we will work the core we will work the hips and we'll have some extra focus on the legs as well but it is going to be a full body pilates class about 25 minutes so when you are ready roll out your mat and begin in child's pose resting your forehead to the floor have a moment here to just find your breath and connect to your body and as you inhale you'll roll up through the spine exhale push back to child's pose let's do two more inhale roll up and exhale push back inhale to roll up tuesday and we'll make three big circles towards the left nice and juicy warming up the spine as always Now tuck your toes under, on your inhale you'll arch your back, on your exhale you'll curve your back and you will pull your knees off the floor ever so slightly. So inhale, arch, exhale, pull your knees up. Good job, you'll do about four more. So it really is the contraction of your abdomen that is allowing your knees to be drawn towards your body, lifting off the floor. This is your last one, you'll come up to stay. Move your body as an elevator between your arms and then push the floor to come up. So you're sort of doing the same thing, but with your scapulas. Up and down, a few more. Now on your exhale, pike your hips up. And on your inhale, come back to the same position with your knees lifted. Pike your hips and coming down. So you're really pushing the floor all you can with your arms and your legs. Your sit bone is reaching towards the sky <laughs> only two more and pay attention now you'll walk your hands towards your feet and beginning at the bottom of your spine you'll roll up to standing from here you sit down to a squat and walk out to the left then back to center and lift up sit back out to the right center and come up again down and left and in and up keep going you've got this alternating sides lifting your chest up as high as you can and reaching back with your sit bones all right good job let's roll down to the floor again walk your hands out to a high plank and come on to your knees and your hands let's make three juicy circles to the right this time hopefully you're beginning to feel nice and warm You want to tuck your toes under, on your inhale arch your spine, exhale as you draw the navel to the spine, lift your knees off the floor, just the same as we did earlier, about four more times in your own tempo, really activating those deep core muscles. Let's do one more, this time to stay, and alternating sides, just tap your shoulder. So try to keep your body as centered and still as possible and you're truly pushing the floor lifting those scapulas away from your from the floor excuse me and again on your exhale pike your hips inhale to come back to the position exhale pike inhale lower four more and three really be careful with those shoulders push the floor actively this is the last one you want to walk your hands back to your feet and you guessed it we'll roll up to standing arms come up above the head and just roll back down again walk your hands out find a high plank this time reach out of the top of your head and then walk your hands back again we'll repeat this one more time just because it feels kind of good so roll up to standing arms above the head and roll down to the floor again hands meet the floor walk your hands forward and find that high plank you'll step your left foot all the way up to the front of the mat this time find your balance and then you'll begin piking your hip on your exhale inhale to come back to your lunge so pike on the exhale inhale lunge four more finding that beautiful wave-like motion again you're standing high on the tippy toes on the back leg and do not forget to draw the navel to the spine as you'll need it in a moment. So let's stay with the hips piked. Make sure that you have your balance and you will draw the heel towards the floor and then lift up onto your toes again. 
So your body is still, it's just the foot that is pushing off the floor. Really feel that beautiful contraction that's happening in your leg. All right, let's stay lifted with the heel and really activate your core as you will roll up to standing. Slowly make sure that you have the balance. Arms come up above the head, arms down and roll back down to the floor. And we'll do it two more times. Now, if you feel shaky or that you might fall, you want to move the back leg closer to your front leg or maybe even bending both legs so that you have more control. It's really important not to fall and not hurt ourselves, so please do take precautions. All right, as you roll up the last time, you'll stay with the arms lifted and you'll fold the hands behind your head. Let's bend the knees to a lunge and then push up. Bend the knees and push. You have four and three. Going as deep as you can. This is the last one. We'll twist over to the left, center, and then push up. Come down and twist and center and push four. Go as deeply as you can. Three. Maybe the back knee can touch the floor. Two. And we'll do one more because I counted wrong. <laughs> so this is the last one to stay. Lift the front heel off the floor about six times. This requires some balance. Again, if you don't feel uh, comfortable with this you can release your arms or you can hold on to something or just stay and breathe last two and one good job extend the arms above the head lean over your leg and just tap your foot in and extend tap in extend the arms are swimming back as you tap in and extending as you extend the leg Only one more, and if you are up for it, just tilt your weight over that standing leg. Engage in between your scapulas and lift the back leg off the floor. Just a small balance here. As you come out of this balance, lift up through the top of your head and find the floor behind you with your right tippy toes. And you will begin rolling down to the floor from this position. From here, you want to lift your right hip up towards the ceiling and then release it back down lifting up and release it's kind of hard to explain but it's almost as if you want to tap the, um, the ceiling with the back of your right hip oh, that was hard to explain <laughs> hopefully you understand bend that knee and let's make three circles in one direction and three circles in the opposite direction so all the way now you are pushing the floor through your standing leg and your head Let's lift the hip again, but this time opening the hip up. So the knee comes down to the opposite knee and then you open the knee up towards the ceiling. Good job, you'll do two more of these. And for this last one, you'll open up to stay in sort of a scorpion stretch, giving yourself a little bit of a release on the inside of the hip. Good job, let's come out of this and then take a big step back into a low lunge this time. Release the back knee and just take a few seconds here if you want to drop your head you can do so just releasing the front of that right hip that has been working quite a lot all right let's step both feet behind us and then push back to a downward facing dog inhale to find a high plank exhale push back inhale high plank exhale push back you can keep your knees bent if you want to Make sure that you are standing on your tippy toes and you're pushing the floor actively with your arms. Never, ever, 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 ever hanging on your shoulders. <laughs> Let's take a big step with the right leg this time and pike your hips and then lower to lunge. Pike your hips and lunge. You have four more. So we are going to repeat this whole sequence on the other side. And this time, pike your hips up to stay. You'll adjust your feet a little bit just so that you have balance. Release your left heel to the floor and then push up onto your tippy toes. You have five and four, keeping the rest of the body still. And two, last one to stay up here. Find your core now as you will roll up through the spine. Arms come up above the head, take your time. 
arms come down to the floor and roll back down we will repeat two more times so whatever you need to do to feel safe in this um, exercise if you want to bend your knees or if you want to keep your back leg closer to your standing leg that's fine this time you'll stay up here fold your hands behind your head and we'll lunge down and up come down and up maybe your back knee can touch the floor just don't bang it down there <laughs> be nice and gentle take precautions always let's come down to twist over that front leg and back and lift up lunge and twist center lift up you have four more exhale to twist and three and two good job last one let's stay down here and lift the front heel keeping the rest of the body completely still try to keep your balance extend the arms above the head and tilt over your standing leg tap the back leg in as you swim your arms back extend tap in extend and four bending all you can in the standing knee make sure that you're feeling it in your glutes this is your last one let's come to a little balance just lift that back leg off the floor you can stay with the bent leg or try to extend it that's fine lift through the top of your head find the floor behind you and let's begin rolling down to the floor if you can you keep the right leg extended or you'll bend it it's fine either way Let's lift the left hip up, again as if you were poking the ceiling with the back of your hip. So this means that you are maintaining an activated core and you are actively pushing the floor both with your hands and with your standing leg. Bend your left knee and let's make three circles in any direction. You'll notice that it's kind of challenging to stand still and that's good. Change direction, three circles the opposite way. And now you will lift the hip as you open the knee up to the ceiling, then knees together and open up. So again, just um, pushing the back of your hip up and over and this time open up to stay in a little scorpion. Big inhale at the top here and then relax and we'll take a big step back into a low lunge here release the back knee to the floor and you'll have a few seconds to just let it go and relax the front of your left hip this time so we're now done with this section of class we'll move on to doing some core work so just step your foot back and lean back to a child's pose and then find a beautiful transition to come seated onto your mat make sure that you have some room behind you extend the arms in front of you and you'll roll all the way down to the mat extend the arms above your head then lift the arms and roll back up to seated let's do it again rolling down to the mat extend the arms above your head and then roll back up now either you do as i am doing or if you're having trouble getting off the floor you can grab a hold of excuse me <laughs> grab a hold of your thighs and pull yourself up okay so we are about halfway through already you want to use your exhale as you roll up and also your exhale as you roll down that's really going to help you to activate those deep core muscles this time as you roll back you want to bring your right knee to the chest and extend your left knee and we'll just switch them on the exhale so exhale exhale sh 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 we're lifting that chest off the floor or lifting the shoulders off the floor rather <laughs> just is nice and high let's stay with the right leg in release your arms and just switch your legs so as you're switching your legs you are extending the right leg away from your body and kicking your left leg as high up towards your face as you can and you'll do two more and let's stay with the right knee again fold the hands behind your head and just twist over that knee so you're thinking left elbow to right knee four more and three you can do it keep that chest nice and high 
last one and staying with the chest lifted again you'll just place the left foot on the floor extend the arms above the head and let's roll up with that right knee lifted this time beautiful roll down on the exhale inhale to extend the arms and exhale to roll back up nice and slow trying to keep that knee completely still You're halfway through already, only three more of these. Make sure not to drop your weight on your way down. Rather move very slowly and very intentionally. Beautiful job. Let's find that C curve again for a combo. Extend the right leg and then kick it towards your face. Extend knee to chest. Extend, kick it up. Extend knee to chest. Extend so you're exhaling as the knee or the foot draws closer to you and inhaling as you extend away from the body. Last rep now. Stay with the knee bent, stack your arms, exhale to twist over and twist. Good job. Maintaining that C curve, deep contraction in the core. This time twist over to stay, extend away from center, then crunch in. Inhale to extend, exhale as you crunch in. Really getting a hold of those obliques on the side of your abdomen. And I know it's burning, but this was your last one. So set your feet to the floor, lift up on your inhale, exhale to curl all the way down to the floor. Inhale at the bottom and roll back up as we will repeat all of this to the other side. So as you roll down to the mat, let's bring the left knee to the chest, grab a hold of it, extend the opposite leg, and let's switch the legs on the exhale. Shh, shh, shh. Lifting that chest up high, look in between your legs and keep your body as still as you can. Stay with the left knee, release your arms and just switch your legs. So as you switch, you are extending the left leg and kicking the right leg towards your face. Chest is still high, neck is still relaxed. Stay with your left knee, hands behind your head and twist over on your exhale. And you have five and four, keep your body still. Three, keep the tension in your legs as well. Two, last one, stay up here with the upper body, but release your right foot and then bring your arms above the head. Exhale to roll up with your left knee lifted. Beautiful, keep going, rolling back on the exhale. Inhale, extend, exhale, roll back up. All right, you got this and we'll do three more in your own tempo. Finish up this last one. And as you come back up to seated, you'll find a C curve to hold for the combo. Knee to chest, extend, kick it up, extend. Exhale in, inhale out, exhale in, inhale out. Last rep now and stay with the knee lifted, stack your arms and twist over that knee. Exhale to twist. Shh. Shh. Keep the tension and the form in the rest of your body. Stay twisted and then crunch in on your exhale. Shh. 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 Two more. And one. Good job, extend everything away from center and just fold over your legs for a um, quick little release on your back and the back of your legs. Come back up to seated. You'll swing your legs behind you and make your way to your belly on the floor. Rest your forehead on the backs of your hands and extend your legs to the corners of your mat, pointing your feet. Inhale to lift your chest off the floor. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. And four. And three. And two. And one. Now relax your upper body and lift your legs on your exhale. And five. Exhale to lift. 
and four, fully extending those legs. Two, last one to stay lifted, lift your upper body as well. Inhale to open your chest, exhale, lower your chest, swim your arms in front of you. Inhale, arms back, exhale, arms over your head. Keep going. Imagine that you are swimming and that you are just beautifully extended in all directions. Do one more and then bring your arms and legs parallel to each other, hovering over the floor and let's just kick them as if we were really swimming <laughs> this time. Small kicks as we're keeping the center of the body completely still, but still breathing of course, always breathing, but you know that already. Let's relax and push the floor to come up onto our knees, tuck your toes under. Let's do a final little combo. You'll do one push up, then pike your hips as you push up and back. Come to a high plank and lift your left leg off the floor. Again, let's do one push up, pike your hips up, high plank, lift your left leg as far up as you can. Two more times, push up, pike your hips, high plank, lift your leg. Last one, you can do it, push up, Pike your hips, high plank, lift your left leg up. Now walk your hands back to your feet for a quick release, piking those hips all you can. And you'll walk your hands back out to a high plank, we'll repeat on the other side. So come to a push up, then pike your hips, high plank, lift your right leg off the floor, push up. Pike your hips, high plank, right leg up. Only two more times, push up, pike your hips, high plank and kick that leg up as far up as you can. This is the last one, push up, pike your hips, high plank and kick that leg up behind you. Beautiful, walk the hands back to your feet, pike your hips, keep those legs straight. And we'll just repeat this two more times, walking the hands in front of us to a high plank. And walk the hands back. As you pike your hips, try to keep those legs straight. We have one last exercise. It's going to be a surprise. Just walk your hands out. One last time, walk your hands back, pike your hips. And let's prepare for a plank. So walk your hands out and come on to your elbows. And we'll just hold here for about 20 seconds. So really engage that navel to the spine and find your inner core to find your inner strength. I know you might be tired. I sure am here, but I know that you're doing your best and you can do it. And guess what? We are halfway through already. So just keep pushing through. And five and four three, two, one, and gently release your knees to the floor and find a cobra position, releasing the tension in your core, giving yourself a beautiful stretch at the front of your body. Rest your chest on the floor and grab a hold of your left foot, pull it into your hip, and you'll try to release on the front of that left hip, sending your breath into your iliopsoas. And switch your legs. If you want to, you can rest on the opposite cheek as well so that you um, find some symmetry in this little stretch. Release the leg, push yourself up and back and just make your way seated onto the mat facing each other. Extend your left leg to the side. Extend your right arm above your head and tilt over your leg. We'll stay here for a couple of seconds, making sure to ground that right sit bone into the floor and extending, elongating through the right side. Inhale to come up to center, just do a little counter stretch to the opposite side. 
and come to center let's switch those legs extending the right leg to the corner of the mat left arm above the head and tilt over that extended leg Inhale to center, little counter stretch to the left. And find center again. We'll bring the soles of the feet together. Bring the feet closer to your pelvis. And with a straight spine, just lean over your legs. Make sure to breathe into your hips to increase comfort and really soften your body. All right, let's come out of this and just close off the class together as always. Inhale to bring your arms above your head. Exhale as you draw your arms down in front of you. Inhale, arms come up above the head. And exhale, arms down. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please do subscribe to my channel as I upload one class once a week. Sometimes I upload more frequently, so stay tuned for that. And again, bless you and I'll see you here next time. Ciao.